Hello students, welcome to lecture of kinematics and theory of machine, myself Professor Silas Patel and we are going to continue uh, our chapter velocity in mechanism and in this lecture we will study the example based on relative velocity method. Okay, let's start. Before starting the example of velocity in mechanism, we will revise the some points uh, we have learned in a previous lecture because in uh, this chapter there is a no derivation or any formula. Tot, uh, totally example depends on the funda fundamental things we have learned in uh, uh, theories okay so uh, you have you know that first of all uh, first rule is that all fixed point will be at origin so in example uh, in mechanism whatever the points number of points you see the which are fixed will be at the same point on a origin point okay or in a velocity diagram second is a velocity of any link uh, any point on a link will be perpendicular to link third is a direction of slider always be the line of action passed through the origin point in a velocity diagram i am going to explain you this again because if the piston if the piston is uh, moving in uh, this direction then the you will draw the line passing through the origin okay I'm giving you another example if the slider is a sliding some at position some at angle is there and uh, it is sliding with this direction so what you have to do in velocity diagram you have to draw the line passing through the origin in direction of line of action of piston now you can understand that what is uh, rule number three direction of slider will be same as line of action its direction will be in this line but it will pass through the origin point okay and after that last and fourth rule is a velocity of any point on a link means in a, for the velocity or uh, if on a link you you want to find the n uh, velocity of any point you have to take the this ratio between the space diagram and velocity diagram okay let's start the first example of velocity in mechanism so you can see here uh, in a four bar chain mechanism a b c d a d is a fixed a d is a fixed so i can draw the a d here and then uh, its length is 150 okay the crank is a 40 crank here it is a 40 and uh, rotate at a 120 rpm 120 rpm and link CD okay AD and there is a link CD directly given here okay and oscillate about the D point D point is here and BC and AD are equal length okay so this th fourth link and this first link is a same length find the angular velocity of CD means uh, we have to find the velocity of link CD angle of B, uh, BID is given so first of all we have to draw this whole mechanism so check this dimension first so length of all four links given here okay because AD is equal to BC or four so we have to draw this with using this angle so how can you draw this this uh, measurement is a 150 mm and when you go into draw 150 means half foot you can't draw in your normal so you have to take the uh, scale here and check this out what you can take the scale means you, you want to uh, you want to descale because 150 mm is higher so you can you will take the scale as uh, 1 mm is equal to 2 mm so you will start with the ad you draw the ad here okay you will draw the ad means uh, length will be 7.5 okay 7.5 after that you uh, you will start with the uh, ab angle is given here 120 uh, sorry angle is given here 60 so you will take the uh, protector and uh, give the link length link length will be 10 20 because 40 is the original length and we have take the scale 1 mm is equal to 2 mm so we will draw the length line of 20 mm only okay this is in a semi sorry 
7.5 semi so it will be 7.5 75 mm so you will draw this diagram okay this uh, dimension is given is a HL but you will draw at a half size because we have taken the scale okay so this will be 75 this will be 40 and this will be 20 remember that student making mistake they scale all points means they divide this angle also and take the 30 no we descaling the uh, this geometry but angle will be the same okay now what we want to do we want to make the velocity diagram and in velocity diagram remember that velocity is a one vector and for this vector you need two things magnitude and direction okay magnitude and direction you know the direction of every point in this mechanism why because direction you already know that it is a perpendicular to link perpendicular to link so you can know the every direction from this mechanism you don't know magnitude so you you can start the diagram so that always there is a given for the magnitude of any one element so always you can find the magnitude of any one link so in our case here this rpm is given rpm of this ab link is given and using that rpm you can find the angular velocity okay you can find the angular velocity which is uh, 2 pi n by 60 n is a rpm 120 and you you can see here uh, 12 uh, 0.56 radian per second you have find the angular velocity and you know the uh, relation between angular velocity and linear velocity so linear velocity will be uh, angular velocity into length a b so now you can see here 12.56 angular velocity and uh, length of link 0 0.04 why the length is 0 0.04 there is a 40 mm but you know the unit of velocity meter per second so that's why this 40 mm converted into meter means divided by thousand so it will become 0 0.04 okay so what speed we have achieved here check this 0 0.503 means velocity of this link linear velocity is 0 0.5 now we are going to draw this in a diagram but 0 0.5 is a very small quantity so you can't draw the 0 0.5 okay so we have to uh, scale means uh, enlarge this scale so what can i take the scale check this 0 0.5 meter per second so i can take the one meter per second is equal to 100 mm so you have taken the scale 1 meter per second is equal to 100 mm so 0 0.503 meter per second you have to multiply the scale 0 0.503 into 100 then your first distance or magnitude of velocity will be 50.3 mm okay i will going to show you how you will draw the velocity diagram using this uh, four rules okay remember there are four rules first of all in mechanism you have to check this which are the fixed point you can see there is a point a and d is a fix okay so so in velocity diagram first of all you will take the origin point and make the a and d because you know that a and d is a fix so all fix will be at the origin so it is the origin point this point okay so uh, after that you will consider this link a b for which uh, you know the velocity okay magnitude so what you have to do a b length uh, a b link velocity for what will be the direction you know the direction is always perpendicular to link and here is given in the in this direction okay so you have to draw the line from this in same direction and length of this uh, line will be 50.3 mm so you will draw the line here which uh, length is a 50.3
okay and this point you will get is a b small b so that's how you have drawn the first vector means velocity of a b velocity of b with respect to a and this is the uh, first line you are making and after that what you have you you can do here you want to know velocity of c with respect to b how can you draw that check this velocity of c with respect to b means the, you know that the direction will be maybe in uh, you know that the, the direction of uh, this velocity you can say maybe it is in this direction or maybe in this direction but you sure that it is a perpendicular to that link so first of all in this direction you will make the line which is passing through the b okay so you will make the line which is passing through the b and it will be thus in the same direction of this in this direction you will draw this line here okay you can roll here or you can measure this angle and apply here or you can use set square and set square is a very simplest method uh, for drawing this type of parallel lines here and after that check this out what you have to do you can see the velocity uh, velocity of c with respect to d what will the direction maybe this is in a this direction or maybe in a this direction okay perpendicular to link so you can draw the line from here perpendicular to that link but from where what from this point here d you know the d here d is uh, here so velocity of c with respect to d for cd link you have to draw this line okay so what you will do you will draw the same line means perpendicular to this link same this line here which is passing through the d okay and after that you will erase unnecessary lines here from top all the these lines and you will get this small triangle here which is the velocity diagram for the this mechanism so how it is obtained i am drawing explain you again keep uh, means uh, check this so first of all a and d so at origin point you write both point here after that for a b link you have this data small a b is equal to 50 so you will draw the 50 but in which direction perpendicular to this link perpendicular to the link so you will draw this a d and length will be 50 here 50.3 and after that you have completed this link and completed this link now you will start for the bc so c point with respect to b you will draw the vector perpendicular to link bc what you will do from b you will draw this line okay you don't know the magnitude here you only know the direction is a perpendicular to link as per rule number two um, velocity of any point on a link will be always perpendicular to that link so direction you know so you will draw the whole line you don't know the how much length should be there okay so draw the full length line okay and then with respect to d you want to know the velocity of c so what will you can do here again what you will draw the line perpendicular to this link from what from d okay so you will draw this line here and full extended line you don't know up to which and when you do made uh, means uh, intersect these two line you know that this is the point this is the point or uh, is which is c because b with, uh, velocity of c with respect to b is this line and velocity of c with respect to d is this line so this intersecting point is the c point and you will erase the all extension here okay and you will get the this diagram okay so when you indicating in this direction means for this is going to c okay so velocity of c with respect to d 
and if you are drawing same line but is arrow is in this direction you have to write this velocity of d with respect to c okay so what you want to measure velocity angular velocity of cd so you want to find the omega cd okay and you can't you can't find the omega cd directly so first of all you have to find omega velocity cd and for velocity cd what you will do you will measure this line you will measure this line here okay you have to measure this cd line and measure it and what you get you get the length of this cd line so you will get the length 38 okay in velocity diagram but what is the scale 1 meter per second is equal to 100 mm so 38 mm is equal to 0 0.385 meter per second okay so this will be the velocity of cd and when you know the velocity of cd you can find the angular velocity because velocity is equal to m omega into cd so omega is equal to velocity upon that length okay that's it this is a very practice required very lots of practice uh, means lots of practice okay this is the whole example lots of practice is required in velocity uh, velocity in mechanism this type of example because lots of variety are there but you always remember that four rules so you can complete any example from this chapter okay thank you